Our boarding pass is, is printed and as soon as we finish votes today, we'll I'll be headed back to Texas for the weekend. Uh, we're on long weeks right now. The snow day kind of messed us up, but now all the spring breakers have hit our town. This is the, the highest population of young people uh, of any, any time of the year comes right now at spring break and they're literally everywhere. And it's great to see them. We love to have them. Uh, President Trump released his 2017 budget and provides for a $30 billion increase in defense funding. It protects a, a 2.1% pay raise for our soldiers uh, and the House has approved the defense funding bill. It also includes a $3 billion increase in funding for Homeland Security, which will help us do the work we need to do on the wall and the work that needs to be done on the border. I look forward to work with, working with the president on keeping our nation safe as it relates both to defense and homeland security. President Trump announced uh, an important executive order to reduce government waste and streamline our agencies, which is long overdue. And this will hopefully ensure that our Texas tax dollars are being spent wisely. The House passed three important veterans bills this week to protect our veterans' Second Amendment rights and streamline the VA in order to hold its employees accountable, which they're not held accountable today, and provide for better assistance for our veterans uh, at Fort Hood. The deadline for everybody to submit their nomination for the Outstanding Career and Technical Education Student Award is next Friday, March the 24th. I'm looking forward to learning about the excellent work our students are doing uh, in Texas 31st District in this area. So get your applicant, your nominations in. Well, when the when the bell rings and the votes are over, I'm headed for Texas. See you, Texas.